to do wrong, right, so different, and I'm swerving. Welcome back, everybody, to Swerve Team Talk Radio right here on Pure Radio, AM 1320, FM 103.7. This is your man, Frank Pharrell's. And Lady Language. And what are we doing? Swerving. Like we do every Saturday night from 10 to midnight. Yep. And tonight we are motivating and encouraging our teens to take a positive route. Talking to the young men about teen dating. And it has been an interesting conversation that we had. Very interesting. So sitting in with us right now uh, is Pastor Vaughn Brown. He is a senior pastor at Grateful Church, Church. right? Grateful, Grateful Church. So Church. welcome to Swerve, man. Thank y'all for having us, man. Um, it's an honor to be here. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. So, okay, so we just want to get a pastoral your point of view um, with teen dating. We're going to just let you pour into these young men as we've heard that they're all dating. Everyone has a, a girlfriend. Really? And so uh, we just want to get your point of view uh, to young men about, I, I guess the teens in general, about teen dating. You know, what, what, are your, what is your take on that? Um... You know, I, I believe I subscribe to the same um, thought and theory that, you know, a, as a teenager, um, there's a tension that you have to manage, that mm-hmm. you have to wrestle. Um, on one hand, you're discovering who you are. Mm-hmm. You're discovering your likes and your dislikes. On the other hand, um, you're trying to um, manage the relationship and the expectations that are placed upon you either by your parents or your Mm -hmm. guardians Mm -hmm. as well as um you know your school administrators and even um those that are plugged into churches you're managing that as well Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um but i i I believe wholeheartedly that um first of all when it comes to dating it's it's something that has to be done um or dealt with in the context of family yeah Mm -hmm. um so you know i have a five-year-old at home Um, Let me just first say that I've been praying for um, the young man that this young lady will be dating. Mm -hmm. I've been praying Mm -hmm. for him since she was two. Good. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, Now, and and, and God kind of um, prompted me even in the rhythm of praying for this young man to Mm -hmm. even begin to pray for his parents Mm -hmm. that Mm -hmm. what I'm instilling in her will also be instilled in him. I think that's an important component of even understanding what it means to date Mm -hmm. Uh Um, but dealing with the young people of our generation and our culture man they're they're just exposed to so many different things Mm -hmm. Um, information is more prevalent for them today than it has ever Ever been been. Um, and so you know we just can't be parents um, that manage um, our children from a cruise control or a cruise ship mentality. Yeah. Oftentimes, you know, we expect, you know, them to know because we told mm-hmm. them mm-hmm. when we really need to be actively involved and we need to even be proactive in understanding um, exactly what our children are doing and what they're exposed to. Yeah. <clears throat> As it pertains to dating, what I, you know, what I believe, I really believe um, that young people really should be focused, like you said mm-hmm. earlier, on um, understanding who they are and trying to figure that out. Mm-hmm. Um, man, it's such a tragedy to see um, a young person. And, and the beauty is, obviously, this doesn't define the, the individual exactly. unless they allow it. Mm-hmm. But it is a tragedy, and it does break your heart to see young people um, fall into the trap of trying to uh, present something that they're not. Mm-hmm. Um, oftentimes, w- when that is the case, I mean, sometimes... You know, you and I, uh, when we were younger, they, there were children, we were children, we were dating, and we couldn't even have people call hmm. our house. Exactly. You know what yep. I mean? Mm-hmm. And um, I believe that that's still prevalent in today's um, society. So what you have is you have a young person mm-hmm. that's portraying something that they're really not. Mm-hmm. Um, so 100% nowadays, kids really should be focusing in on trying to figure out who they are. Yeah. Um, trying to plug into 
what it means to represent themselves and mm -hmm. their families um, and, and obviously their faith. Right. And um, that's one of the things that, you know, we want to do from a foundational level at Grateful Church. Mm -hmm. We really want to make sure that these kids understand the importance of being, you know, genuine and, and mm -hmm. real with who they are. Yeah. But understanding what, you know, God, you know, desires for them to be. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the, I, I, I say this all the time. Uh, to the young people that I, I get to share with from time to time, one of the best things that'll help keep you in line as it pertains to dating and peer pressure and other things is understanding the fruits of the spirit and yeah. doing your yeah. best to walk it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. good. I mean, you, you have to think about, um, and this is what I see in this day and time with our young people is what are you being exposed to in terms of relationship? Uh, for, for the most part, I've seen dysfunctional families. And so if you're young, you know, 11 or 12 and you're trying to date and you're trying to go into a relationship you're going to exemplify what you've seen that's right you know and so if if you seem dysfunctional uh what are you going to take into a relationship you're not quite ready for that and so my my thing is to get up under men um uh, women in the faith mm -hmm. and to mm -hmm. get trained you know not in dating but just in life right. you know yeah. knowing, knowing yourself being comfortable in your own skin uh the dating thing it, it comes it's going to happen you know the dating thing comes but that should not be what our focus is and yeah. going to school and going to church and you know to see if I can get next to this cutie mm -hmm. that should definitely not be the goal um, those things will come I remember reading a book by Miles Monroe um, and one of his things in there was talking about Adam Adam and Eve and how Adam was just so busy doing the work of God he didn't realize he needed a girlfriend mm -hmm. he didn't realize he needed a, a wife he didn't realize he needed you know a mate he was so busy caught up doing God's work yeah. that's what I would say to anybody get busy doing God mm -hmm. and then God gives you the desires of your heart yeah. you know so he knows that's our desire you know he, he he made us you know to be needy people he made us that way you mm -hmm. know so he, he know what he was doing he was making us but there's a plan that he had for all of that yeah. and I love what you said there's nothing wrong with having desire mm -hmm. right yeah. because God put that there yeah. but the desire one should be healthy mm -hmm. um, and then two you know enough can never be said we can never say enough excuse me um about the importance of putting god first yeah and then allowing god to add to us mm -hmm. what we need yeah i mean scripture is true um matthew 6 33 says seek first the kingdom yeah. of god and his righteousness now come on let's just yeah. be real mm -hmm. you know it ain't cool um you know to be in the clique the uh -huh. in crowd and be a jesus you know yeah. follower yeah. you know yeah. i mean that that's just but Who's to say, oh, why can't we create a new norm? Why can't we, you know, reset the standard, Definitely. you know, to say, man, listen, if God be for us, can't nobody be against exactly. us. And I am going to, you know, um, wear um, my belief, wear my faith. Not I'm, I'm not beat somebody over the head with yeah. it, but I'm going to wear it as a badge of honor. I'm going to trust God at his word. I'm going to seek God first and I'm going to keep myself for the person that God has right. for me. Yeah. Yeah. And oftentimes we put that kind of upon the young lady mm -hmm. and we, we allow the young men to have a past. That's good. But the truth behind the matter is both need to have that same type of focus yeah. or that same type of uh, desire. God will add to us yeah. what he desires for us. And I promise you, it's been proven in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm sure yours mm -hmm. as well. What God has yeah. for me is better than anything that yeah. I could have gotten myself into. Yeah. All right, so that's the information we that's want to get awesome. out to our uh, young men and young ladies tonight. And so um, even with the guys sitting in here tonight, there's no condemnation. There's no judgment here. Mm -hmm. We just want to add to what you already know, what you have. And then, uh, you know, judge yourself and challenge yourself based on scripture. Make sure everything you're doing is based on the word of God, first and foremost. If it's not, abandon it. Get away from it and follow follow the scripture 100% of the time. So. Um, Pastor, thank you for coming in and sharing God, God your input you. on that. Young man, thank yeah. you guys so much. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get back into some more music. This is your man, Frank Farrells. And Lady Language. Swerve. Swerve.